Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. David Smith, male 35 UK. Hello David, says, I threw my GF of three years out two weeks ago. What kind of a talking is that, David? Come on now. You don't throw a girlfriend out. You just say, look, you know, I severed my relationship with her. That's fine. But there's no reason to kind of discuss about women. Like, I threw her out. Uh, what for? <laughs> just say what you want to say. My personal uh, view. So let, let me read the rest of this. It says, as I believe she was cheating on me, even though I should feel nothing for her, I'm still broken heart by it. Any advice? Yes. You are broken heart and it's natural. Even if you choose to sever a relationship with your girlfriend, you will feel sad in a way because you had created the story with her, a routine it created an order of some kind, which included her in that order, in that routine, in that discipline of your day-to-day -day life. And when that is no longer there, even if it was you who decided to break up, there's still a vacuum of the existence of that what it was, the order, the routine. You can't continue that routine, and you're used to that routine, so you're missing the order as it was. That's why you keep going into the memory in order to feel that order because in the memory, that how it was, the routine of life, is recorded. So you go into the memory, you find the recording of how your life was two weeks ago before you broke up, and the brain finds security in that order because order brings security to the brain. So that's why you keep going into the memory. And while you're in the memory, who do you meet? Her. She's also in the scenario. So when you're there and you see her, the prerequisites of creating desire is also recorded. There are certain steps that needs to be taken and be prepared before desire is born. And those steps that at one time already was met is also recorded. So when you see her in the memory, the prerequisites for desire to be born file also triggered and they feel like as they are fulfilled, and then desire is born, so you desire her again. So the idea is not to go in the memory, because once you're in the memory, you see her, seeing her triggers the memory file about prerequisites for the desire to be born, and the desire is born, and then you crave her. So the key is to create a condition that you won't have to go into the memory to find security through the order that is recorded in the memory, you create a new order by finding new hobbies, new things that you like to do. You change the rhythm of your day as it was to something new. And then that becomes the routine of your life through the mechanical process of the things that you do during the day. Creates a routine. The routine creates an order. And the new order is in the actuality of life, not in the virtuality. So you don't have to keep going to the virtuality, to the memory, to find that order for your brain for your mind to feel safe and secure because you have the order here and you're following that and that order brings freedom from going to the memory triggering the uh, prerequisites of desire file and then having the desire to be reborn which puts you in trouble all right in a nutshell subscribe on my channel visit my channel and go through the videos that you might be interested in. Mindatseekstruth.com, making it one step away to talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on Skype and discuss what's concerning you. I'll talk to you soon.